Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called The Expendables 2, a sequel to the first movie, The Expendables. It stars Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham, Jet Li, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Dolph Lundgren, Chuck Norris, Bruce Willis, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Terry Crews, Randy Coulter, Liam Hemsworth, Scott Aikens, and Nan Yu. The movie begins as Barney Ross, played by Sylvester Stallone, is approached by a CIA man, uh, Mr. Church, played by Bruce Willis, who wants him and his guns for hire to go to the former Soviet Union to retrieve something that was on the plane that crashed. Church doesn't tell him what he's getting, and Church sends a woman, Maggie, played by Nan Yi. So prior to this, he wants Maggie to, to show him all the ropes so in case he doesn't screw up. This, they find the plane part and get to the detonator was inside the plane and they're trying to set off the bomb until one of the men and the leader of a group called the Saints, known as Villain, played by, as you can totally expect it to be, John claude Van Damme. So, took one of Barney's uh, young crew hostage until he gets killed sadly for having to do what he had to say Barney and the rest of the game decided to get their revenge on the villain and prior to the villains plan was to admit as what Maggie said they're trying to show him the location of the Russian plutonium storage mine Barney decides to track the man down and deal with him they tracked him down and discovered that the man they seek revenge is him and is and that they had taken all the men from surrounding birds to work for the mine. Um, anyway, I gotta say though, prior to the first Expendables, I really enjoyed this sequel a lot. I thought it was a whole lot better than I expected it to be, but it was a lot different. The only disappointing I get though was that Jet Li didn't get much screen time in this sequel uh, compared to the first movie which he did, he had plenty of screen time, so that was a shame. Also, uh, Mickey Wark, um, who was originally supposed to be killed off in this sequel, he was not in this film at all. So, uh, unfortunately, the script had to be rewritten in order to have the young actor played by Liam Hensworth, the brother of Chris Hemsworth from 4. He was also in the movie The Hunger Games, which I haven't seen, so I'll check that out. And, um, and basically he gets... Which sadly, yeah, he plays the role of Billy the Kid, you know, hence the name. And in, and unfortunately, he gets killed off, sadly. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to, but... Anyway, um... But it was a great film. I also like the fact that Arnold Schwarzenegger was back in this sequel. In fact, this time he gets enough screen time to save my day. Because, let's face it, he is the Terminator. <laughs> yeah. And I gotta tell you something though, this movie had a lot of funny dialogue um, in this movie compared to the first movie because it had a lot of you know crazy dialogue that I never thought this would be. Because <laughs> one of my favorite dialogue in this film has to be the one with uh, Jason Statham, you know, and that was so hilarious when he was just as the the priest and he says, "I pronounce you men and knife." Yeah, it feels all the night. I also like Chuck Norris in this film too. I thought he was really awesome as Lone Wolf. Sort of like a resemblance to, uh, sort of like a, a references to the movie he was in called Lone Wolf McCrade. Um, that was the one with the late great David Carradine. Yeah, he was great. Um, yeah, he was in Kill Bill too. Anyway, I really enjoyed this film a lot. I think, in my opinion, it's a it's a whole lot better than the first movie. But that's that's not saying much because I love the first movie too. The second one, however, is will always be the best. And I gotta say, it was pretty cool to see Van Damme as a villain this time. Prior to his other film, No Retreat, No Surrender, back in the 80s, hard to believe that film came out on May 2nd, which was my birthday. My first year, by the way. Yeah. At least now he gets to play a powerful villain 
yeah, compared to Dolph Lundgren. Yeah. In fact, not many people are. In fact, I'm not much of a big fan of John Club Van Dam, but I understand. I give The Expendables 2 three and a half stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.